Welcome! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to properly set up your charts and the time frames in association with the correct pivot time periods. First and foremost on your screen this is the John Person lifetime version indicator. This is the radar screen. Underneath I have the various time frame of charts that I like to look at. First on your far right bottom it's the five minute time period. Now for five minute time period I utilize the daily pivots. Next 15 minute and again I have the daily pivots. Then next we have the 60 minute. Once again I do have the daily pivots. So I guess the moral of the story is that for intraday time period is only when I use the daily person's pivots. Next we have the daily chart. Now if you look if I expand this up for you you'll say oh my goodness look at all these lines. Well actually they mean something when you expand into the time frames you'll see that um, you have these red dashes and this red dash we have one two three four five if this is a daily chart you can immediately assume that these are weekly pivots right because if there's five days in a week you have um, a um, line that goes across this reflects the weekly pivots and I utilize the daily time frame charts using weekly pivots that way I can kind of get a, a gauge at what the a the potential range might be for the week as you can see the highlighted green is what the potential low was calculated to be at the end of the business week on Friday of the preceding week so on Friday it calculates what the next week's market condition will be and what the potential range might be for swing traders that is the uh, combination in which I use the pivots um, intraday for daily and daily with weekly and then over here we have a weekly chart now again if we expand on this you will notice that we have approximately one two three four bars that go across one two three four bars that go across you'll notice this is a weekly chart there's approximately four weeks to a month so you can immediately assume that with the amount of bars that go across you know that this is with a weekly time frame chart this is a weekly chart we have monthly pivot so that's my next um, area of interest I like to use as a combination weekly with monthly pivots then finally at the end here we have our monthly charts and you will note that there's approximately three red bars one two three one two three one two three what this would signify if this is a monthly chart right a monthly chart then these are quarterly pivots. So again, I use the intraday charts, the 5, the 15, and the 60, and overlay daily person's pivots. I use the daily end of day chart um, and overlay the weekly pivots. Now I can and sometimes do take the daily chart, the end of day chart, which we do have weekly on here right this minute. If I right click and format analysis, you will see that we have the JP Advanced Lifetime and we have the on balance volume, and you can see all the tools that come with it. And right here, you can immediately see where it says John Person Weekly Pivot. If I go to status, it turns that off. I hit close. Now I no longer have pivots what I have are the lines that are represented here the light gray is the last conditional change and the white is also a last conditional change these are support and resistance levels of where to place stops and to look for potential breakouts from which we'll discuss in the next video in the meantime if I go over here to insert analysis technique and I just want to overlay a person's pivot a monthly pivot then I just scroll down and I just go person's pivots monthly and I hit OK and now I have a daily chart with monthly pivots so that's how I utilize the various time frames and then I get my monthly pivots and overlaid on the daily chart um, I can change that back of course by just right clicking go to format analysis technique as you can see here it says persons pivots monthly if I go back over here and hit remove 
I can just go back and insert analysis technique and then look for person's pivots weekly hit OK and here we are person's pivots weekly close and we're back to normal again one two three four five if this is a daily chart and you got five red lines and five green lines you can naturally assume that we already have back and put back our weekly pivots with our daily charts and that's the time frames in which we um, utilize our pivots uh, daily to help fine-tune two things entries when we're bullish or as well as looking to see if the daily market conditions has changed one unique feature that I might bring up at this point in time about the person's pivots if for example and if I expand on this you'll see a little more clearly if for example we get the blue the pivot point itself the blue line is below the gold line the market is deemed to be in a bearish market condition and so therefore it will project a lower red than the preceding day and typically a lower green in this case we still had a higher green but a lower red all the indicator is trying to tell us is that the market condition is bearish and based on the prior time periods range this might be the expansion to the downside thus making potential lower highs and lower lows now I got way too many lines on there so let me share with you once again the indicator is sharing with us that the next time period so it's calculated right here at the close the next day we come in and we see oh it's targeting a, a, a blue below gold that's a bearish day and so we would look for sell signals at resistance and then if the market does give us that sell signal we know that or at least can anticipate that if the market gets near its projected low this green line we can look to take a profit or that should be about maybe the extent of the range for the day okay and the same concept goes with the weekly pivots the monthly pivots and the quarterly pivots I hope you found this tutorial useful in determining how to set up the right time frames and the right pivot calculations thank you